The sketch-driven pattern is another useful pattern command for creating instances in an arrangement that doesn't fit along linear, circular, or curved paths. A useful way to demonstrate this is to create a pattern of custom-designed bosses on the interior faces of the plastic housing component that you see on screen. I have a single boss that I'd like to create several instances of throughout the housing interior and later remove any portions protruding from the other side. To do this, I first need to create a sketch with a series of points that define the instance locations for the command. So I'll start a sketch on this plane for points entity I created that's located a quarter inch inward from the open face of the housing. I'll activate the rectangle tool, place the first corner point at the center point of the boss in the upper left corner, move down and to the right, and place the opposite end point arbitrarily. Remember, I only want points as sketch geometry. So I'll right click on one of the lines, choose the Select Chain command to select the rectangle lines, and make them for construction. Now I'll activate the Point tool. Place points at the three other corners of the rectangle where I want to position bosses as well as two points inside the rectangle on the deeper side of the model. Next, I'll apply some relations to this sketch. First, I'll create a horizontal construction line from the origin out to the left past the model to serve as a reference center line. I'll select the right corner points of the rectangle along with the horizontal center line apply a symmetry relation, and repeat the process with the two points I placed inside the rectangle. From here, I'll activate the Smart Dimension tool, and place a 1-inch dimension between the right vertical edge of the rectangle and the right side of the model. I'll also dimension the vertical distance between the inner points to be 1.25 inches, and the distance from the origin to one of these points to be 2.25 inches. This looks good, so I'll exit the sketch. With my sketch created, I'm ready to create a sketch-driven pattern. I'll activate the command from the Pattern dropdown in the Features tab of the Command Manager, choose the sketch I just created as the reference sketch, Keep the reference point sent to Centroid. Enable the Bodies selection box. Choose the Revolved Custom Boss body, and the preview shows instances at each of the points inside the sketch. When I click OK, the bosses appear throughout the design. I'll hide my sketch at this point to clean up the view. The bosses are in place, but I still need to remove the portions that protrude through the underside of the housing model. I'll do this using a Surface Cut feature, but first I need a surface to use as the cutting tool. This can be done by activating the Offset Surface command from the Surfaces tab, choosing the series of five faces on the housing interior, setting the offset distance to zero so that the command turns into the Copy Surface tool, and click OK. Now I'll activate the Cut with Surface command. Select the offset surface, set the scope to Selected Bodies with the Auto Select checkbox disabled, and choose the six boss bodies. When I click OK to cut the bodies and rotate the model, notice that their bottoms have been removed leaving only their top portions remaining. The last major step is to merge all the bodies together. I'll do this by activating the Combine command from the Insert dropdown under the Features flyout. Make sure the operation type is set to Add, Box Select All Bodies in the Graphics Area, and click OK to combine them. As a final touch, I'd like to apply a fillet to the bottoms of each boss where they meet the interior of the housing which helps with mold making and prevents the bosses from easily snapping at these areas.
I'll activate the fillet tool, set it to constant size fillet with the show selection toolbar option enabled, set the radius to 0.02 inches, choose the base edge of a boss on the left side, and use the first option in the selection toolbar to capture a second edge. I'll repeat this with an edge on a right boss to capture the remaining four edges. Click OK, and the part is complete.